Hi, Amar. Direwolf. This is the last time I let you drive the ship. Look, dude, it was just one orange crush. Look at it! There's lava, there's fire, and we're on a random space planet thing that has just dust everywhere. Look, Couldn't I just... you have found, like, a tropical island to crash on or something? That Look, at least would have been enjoyable. Dude, you just told me you wanted to try out this new mod, and I didn't realize it was going to be this hectic. Well, I told you it was hard to fly. Uh, you know what? You were correct in that for once. Yeah, for once, nothing. Um, I don't think we even have time for introductions, because we gotta get started managing to survive. So what is this? We crash landed? Is this a crash landing? Ooh, clever use of the title. Thank you. Uh, so we need to start our quest by typing HQM quest. Ta-da! So, uh, we've crash landed on a planet full of dust. And I guess this is the first episode in a series that will be about crash landings. I get the feeling this could be a little more difficult than our last map. I get a really big feeling this is going to be a little bit more difficult than our last map. Uh, I have I'm not played sweating. this before, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm dripping water, apparently. That can't be good. Uh, we have liquid and heat bars down the bottom left, so why don't we open up our quest book and get started, because I have a feeling we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm already down to 87% liquid, and like my heat's rising quickly, and that doesn't look good. It's red, and I assume red is bad. I'm in the yellow for heat, and I'm at 84% and dropping for water, so yeah, let's get started. Yeah. All right, so one of these is a backstory, and the other is important information that I think we should read later. Well, I don't know, it does say important. It says what to do if you die, which I hope we're not going to do. Uh, there's sync installed, so I'm guessing that's our, instead of getting lives like Agrarian Sky, we have to use sync shells in case we die. Um, so let's open up gathering supplies. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get two fluid transposers. You know, I did see a wrench oh, over, over here. Oh, nice. There's two fluid transposers right here. All right, if you'd be so kind as to hand that in. Wait, do we have to set up a party? Oh yeah, we do. We should do that, shouldn't we? How do we do that again? Oh god. Okay, hold on. I'm creating a party. Ain't no party like a direwolf party. Yeah, all right. Um, so there you go, invite player. Did you get that? I'm in your party. Hooray! All right, life settings, shared lives, reward settings, multiple rewards. I think we want to keep it that way. Um, Sounds good. Because, Sounds good. especially because the early rewards we get, it looks like is related to water, and we probably don't want to share that. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna claim reward. Hooray, water bottle. Um, by the way, uh, let's see. We want to use this camel pack. I did do a little bit of looking into these mods. Uh, the camel pack, you put in a crafting window with some of those water bottles. And by the way, you'll also notice that you have some cold water bottles. Uh, put the camp camel pack on your back, and it'll fill up your hydration bar. So basically, the camel pack is like automatic drinking. Done and done. Done. done and done. Awesome. Looking sharp. By the way, you don't have a skin. I just want to let you know that. Unless you stole my skin. No, I, I have skin. Okay, not according to me. Uh, so let's, I guess, move on to the very basics. Oh, cool. It's the ship can replicate some dirt for us. With one but we're gonna need bottle of water, I can provide you an essential surviving material. So we need dust, bone meal, and a water bottle. Where are we going to get bone meal? Well, we remember if you like put dust in a sieve, you get bone meal, don't you? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we're going to have to find ourselves a sieve. I think there's two chests in the ship, if I remember correctly. correctly. Okie dokie. We're probably going to want a I'll decent amount that of that sand that and that dust that. and stuff, so... I'll hang out of here for a minute and just hammer away at this stuff. 
So yeah, my heat level is rapidly rising. I guess being outside in the sun and standing next to lava is not conducive to heat. I got the bone meal. Oh, that was quick. And you should have a water bottle already, right? Yep, so I've handed that so in. Handed you want to clean the reward? Clean the reward. Absolutely. Nice. Alright, so we've got dirt. Um, drinking mud. Oh, we'll get another dirt block if we do drinking mud. Uh, in a pinch you can mud. get... Drink mud. Oh, I... because we need to drink something. We don't have that much water here, buddy. In a pinch you can get water from dirt. One bottle and one dirt, and there you go. It isn't very healthy, but if you don't have a choice... Okay, so I guess I'll do that. Dirty water bottle. So it used up my dirt, but at least we get another piece of dirt back. Cool. Um... And let's see, sapping the saplings. We don't have any saplings yet. What other quests are available? Desperate times. We're not going to find any rotten flesh anytime soon. Oh, I'm guessing you got salt from your dust. I did. I don't think we want to put this stuff outside. Uh, I think uh, what we need to do is build a wall. I think we don't really have the resources for that yet. We might want to hang out inside the ship for tonight because I suspect this planet has some terrible things going on on it. Okay, well, I've got some dust to block up the, the door here. here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. By the way, guys, um, in researching this mod pack a little bit, we decided to go uh, and turn off mob griefing because um, because of the way some of the special mobs in this mod pack work. Um, it's probably a good idea, and the mod author, I believe, intends to turn off mob griefing himself in the next version. So just FYI, creepers will not blow up terrain. Um, all right, so... Oh, there's, there's something here for you, Pymar. Do we want to do the easy route or the hard route? Um, that seems a silly question, considering that we're watching ourselves slowly die. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that this is really, really hard. Um, let's see what the difference is. Uh, basically, each of them just require one dust to hand in. Um, if we go the hard route, we just get some saplings and some bone meal and a little bit of needle gun ammo. The easy route gives us a lot more bone meal, two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for just a little bit of starting food. Oh, and we get a shell constructor and a leadstone energy cell. Um, so shell constructor is quite an expensive item. It needs obsidian, a lapis block, two daylight sensors, an ender pearl, two emeralds, and a block of redstone. I kind of feel like we should go the easy route, otherwise we're not going to have any options if we die anytime soon. And I really don't want to end the season on episode two. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'm choosing the easy route. We can try the hard route another time, perhaps. But from what I've heard about this pack, I don't think we want to make it any harder than it already is. I'm guessing we should kind of... You know what, I should probably switch to recipe mode in my NEI so I don't accidentally give myself stuff. Um, I'm going to make a sink shell then. You want to take care of that so that we have... Uh, I've never made a sink shell. It's really easy. Follow me. So just put down your shell constructor. Like, I'm thinking we should put them... You want to have one on either side of us? Like, I'll put mine here, you can put yours on the other side. And then put down your leadstone energy cell. Oh yeah, you've already done it. You just have to right click on it. And you just have to give it power. There you go. Sink Fair shell in progress. Yep. So uh, that will store an extra life for us, basically. So if we ever die, we'll, we'll like lose the body we're in, and we'll wind up inside this body that's being constructed right now. Um, so it's kind of a you're not so bad if you're in hardcore mode, but it's hardcore mode is still pretty hardcore. Um, all right. Do you want to look at quests? I want to grab like a bunch more ducks because I it's getting to be dark already, and. I noticed in the mod list there's like extra mobs enabled, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be nasty and we're not going to want to be outside at nighttime. So I'm going to gather as much dust as I can. Do you want to bone meal a few of those trees? Because I think we got some bone meal from the easy quest mode. Yes, we did. So I'll do that now. Do that now. Yeah. I would try um, and get, get a crook too, so we can get some of those silkworms and stuff. I'll work on the apple trees, because hopefully we can, sorry, oak trees, so we can hopefully get some apples. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. 
So I like how this planet that you crash landed us on, by the way, it was all your fault, in case anybody's concerned or, or questioning that, uh, is just covered in dust and there's nothing else anywhere. There? I thought I saw something off in the distance, like a road. Oh, really? Why'd you see that? I'd be wrong. Uh, it was out your way. Oh? But it was a ways off. Although I'd really like to find some water. In, in the, uh, in the evening. Uh, sorry, in single player. Um, you know what? There is this little water thing over here. I wonder if I can use my empty glass bottles on it to pick up and get some water from it. The thing is, I don't know if that's going to use up the water source and we are going to start having to start friends, very, friends shortly. very shortly. Alright, it didn't use up the water source, so that's good. Did you want to put down the, um, crafting thing? Oh, wait, uh, I have it. I have it. You have it. Oh, I got salt water, by the way, from that. That's not normal water. That says salt water. I I don't know for sure, but I feel like salt water is probably not something I want to be drinking. Would you agree? Yeah. Oh man, that's a cool effect. If you uh, if you're holding a food in your hand, it'll actually highlight how much you have in your back. Yeah. Uh, creeper coming in. Creeper coming in. Okay. Oh, there was a sound yeah. there I wanted to get. It's officially nighttime. I have a needle gun. Um, so I think... Oh, you've got a gun? Nice. I don't know how much that does, but I think I'm going to start sifting some of the sand I've got. If you right-click on the sifter with me, will that double the speed? Looks like it. Looks like it. Nice. Cool. So, uh, how about we just sift a bunch of dust for now? Um... In fact, why don't I take a look and see what our current quest objective should be. So, desperate times, we already got salt, and we need some rotten flesh. Uh, so we're probably not going to get that anytime soon. Sapping the saplings. Oh, there's a way to get water from saplings. Uh, it looks like ten saplings will get you a bucket of water mm -hmm. in one of those fluid transposers that you picked up. Um, and we can also, it says there's flux capacitors, yes, there's flux capacitors in our strong box, so we can power the fluid things with those. So that's cool. I put the water over the here wall. in the strong box. Okay. Um, there's some salt water in there. I should probably put that somewhere else that's not going to accidentally get drank. Because I don't think we want to drink that. I don't know what it'll do, but it just sounds like a bad time. Um, do you want to make a chest to store all these dusts and stuff we're getting? Do you have enough wood for that so far? How about uh, we'll come back maybe when it's daytime or we have more to do than just sift dust. Is that cool? Sounds like a plan. Alright, because this might get boring after a minute. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a moment. Man, Direwolf, you weren't kidding about mobs here. Yeah, there's a lot of mobs out there, isn't there? I can hear them, and I keep hearing explosions. From what I read, there's one type of creeper, I think it's like a reddish creeper, that will, um, when he dies, blow up anyway. So even if you kill him, he'll still blow up. And what I think is happening is there's some, like, lava outside or something, and I think the creepers are walking into them, and, uh, yeah, that's what <laughs> Anyway, yeah. So if the creeper walks around. into it and gets killed, it blows up, and that's why we turned off mob briefing, because otherwise we'd have holes in our ship and we'd be dead right now. We also got our uh, six shells set up, so if we die, at least we're oh, nice. come back here. Yeah, that's going to be important. So I'm actually curious, like, how much energy is left inside of our leadstone energy cells. 16,000 out of 40,000. So I guess what that means is it's 24,000 RF for a sink shell. So before we die, we should make sure we get some more energy, so in case we do die, we can, you know, do all right and not die again. Because if we if we die, like, we don't have the energy to make another sink shell at this point. I guess between the two cells we do, but we don't have enough for one more. Let's put it that way. I hear Enderman. What are you doing? Are you shooting stuff? Yep. Nice. I can hear you shooting. I'm trying to deal with these spiders so we can go outside again. Oh, I got an egg. And a fish. 
Um, yeah, not shabby. We got some decent stuff here, Bahamar. I've got a lot of bone meal, by the way. Um, and the raw fish. That's kind of awesome. Oh, and some yellorium dust. You'll remember that. Don't come outside. Don't come outside. Okay. Watch out for the creeper. Nice shot. I wonder if I can lead these tough spiders into pyrothium. I just killed the spider. I'm pretty pleased with, with myself. With a no, the spider I killed by myself. I'm eating food because I'm actually pretty low on health. Yeah, those spiders are nasty. Oh, bone. I want that bone. There's some Hooray! Too. Is there? Are, are those spiders, like, not vicious in the daytime like normal spiders are? Uh. Well, don't shoot them. That's going to make them angry. He was already coming back after me. Was he? Okay. But they're dropping strings, so we can at least make a bed. Oh, that would be nice. Done like dinner. Good like job, Bahamar. I'm gonna go collect the stuff over here. Oh, by the way, you can pick up those um, ammo canisters again once. Uh... Oh. Well, it looks like so we have Pneumaticraft, because so... I just found Ender Seeds. Um, I have six rotten flesh and two bones. Oh, wow, nice. I've uh, got one bone. I also have uh, some saplings I'd like to plant. You want to uh, pass that to me and I'll take care of it? Oh, did you get them out of the chest here? I, yeah, oh, those are the ones you were talking about. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Um, so, let's look at our quests and see what we have to do. Um, wow, my camel pack's low again. Uh, I guess I don't want to eat this sandwich yet. What else do we have for food around here? we have any form of food? I'm getting some apples now. Nice. Oh, there's beef jerky in the strong box here. Go for it. I already ate my PB&J sandwiches. Okay, so. Alright, well I have one left. I just didn't want to waste it. I'll help cut down this tree. So we've got a decent start to um, some resources, by the way. I just took care of like a stack and a half of dust while we were off camera. It's funny the stone that we want right now. Uh, I, how much do we need? Well, you want to make a furnace, don't you? Do I? So you can um, purify water. Uh, yeah, but I think that only works with the dirty water from dirt. Let's see what our quests have to do, because I have to assume that we're going to work our way through these quests. Do we have bones for the bone crook? Uh, a bone crook requires four bones. How many do we have? I got we two. Have... I got two. I've got one. So no. Okay, can we make okay. a stone hammer? We can. But there's really no reason to unless we, you know, get the bone crook too. I want to try sapping the saplings. That's going to require a bucket of water, um, and that'll get us two more water bottles each, so that'll be pretty nice. So what do you have one of those do? fluid transposers? Uh, I put them back in the wall, but I can give you the hand. Oh, uh, no, that's right. I can, um, I can use them from the wall. Because in our emergency chest, we have a leadstone flux capacitor. Uh, but you need to get the water into the quest delivery system. You are correct, sir. So you're going to want to so put the uh, quest delivery system underneath, um, on one of the facing sides. Yeah, let me have the hammer then, the crescent hammer. Um, and I need ten saplings if you have enough that you can toss me them. Uh, let me plant a little bit more, because I give you all the birch ones that we can't make birch trees anymore. Okay, yeah. Don't, don't give me all of anything. Alright, so that'll be that. I want to disable this guy. Got a quest delivery system here. And I'm going to select 
And there we go. Okay, just need some saplings and it'll be good. Um, I'll make a crook to help you out. Because I think I grabbed some wood. I have ten saplings if you want to give me the crook. Okay. Did you get them? Did you get them? Yep. These aren't Thank the you. only of our um, bird saplings, right? We have others? Yeah, we have others. Okay, cool. So according to our nifty little quest book here, uh, you get one-tenth of a bucket of water for each sapling that you drop in the fluid transposer. Oh, you get a stick from that, too. So that's kind of nice. Um, so this is how we can get water, Pahamar. We just need to crook up some saplings. Um, also, yes, the next quest that we can do is... Well, you know what? It only requires a water bottle to hand in. So we can hand it in now, actually. What quest is that? The, the the next one. I'm sorry, I'm I'm crooking it up. So after drinking mud, there's purifying mud, which you can purify a muddy water bottle into a normal water bottle. But like we have water bottles from Quest Rewards already, so we can just hand it in. Oh, nice. Which I've just done. Hooray! And the saplings quest is complete. So I turned that into. Perfect. I did as well. Hmm. If you put a water bottle on a crafting table by itself, you get fresh water. I wonder if you can drink that. Because you get four of them. I wonder if that's like better somehow. I can't, I can't imagine that it's that easy. So we'll check that later, maybe, when we're not so low on water. You know, we're incredibly lucky that we landed on this planet and it actually has things like breathable air. Hey, you crash landed the ship. I don't want to hear anything about how lucky we are. And ex Nilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lucky, lucky, nothing. Um, all right, so next quest should be... Our take. Our take. Um, so, so far, I think we've done all the quests that we can except for that tools of the trade. Did you get any zombie flesh while you were out there by chance? I you did. did. I did. All right, so now desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, combine one rotten flesh with two salt, and you have something that is edible. Barely. Okay. Um, where'd you put that zombie flesh? It's in my inventory. I'm just about to break the last right. birch. Toss it my way. Cool. Oh, you got a lot of it. Nice. So I got beef jerky, and we will get four beef jerky for handing this in. Hooray, we have food. That's probably going to be pretty helpful for us. Diminishing returns start after eating any food 33 more times. Oh, that's awesome. Fabulous. So you you get diminishing returns on eating now? That's not good. Oh my, there's a whole bunch of quests open up now. Um, let's see, even more desperate. Um, cooked silkworm. Don't forget you can craft a frying pan out of bones. Don't ask me how that works. The silkworms come from hitting leaves with your crook. Right-click the ground with your frying pan and drop in the worms and fuel of some sort. Yay, I finally got one. I suck worm, that is. I need more crooks, though. Nice. Now, if I recall correctly... Why am I having so much trouble figuring out how to craft frying pans? All I know is we're looking at night again. Oh, that's not good. Um... Oh, there we go. Stone, iron, flint. All right, I have to figure out what it means by we can make pans with bone. I'm not seeing any frying pans that work. Yeah, it's got to be nighttime, Bob. Mario, you should come inside. Oh, you know what I should do? I should get more dust so we can have a door again. I have two dust. Let's go. Okay. Come on, come on. 
My time. Did you see all those enemies out there? Forget about it. <laughs> I didn't actually. Whew. All right. Safe for now. Um, I guess I want to look through NEI a little bit and see what kind of things we can craft. We're going to have to kind of hang out for the night and come back in a bit. Sounds good. I got some more saplings to make more stuff. Yeah? Some more water, you mean? Yep. yep. Uh, uh... I guess in the meantime, I'll look at cooking utensils. Right, this is simple. Uh, we'll have to make a mixing bowl, mortar and pestle, juicer, and cutting board. Mixing bowl. That's not too hard. Whoops. Let me have some of that wood back, Lahamar. Thank you. You're welcome. Mixing bowl. We are going Order to need to pestles. start finding a way to recharge these flux capacitors. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Um, I've got four cobblestone so far, but we're definitely going to need more dust. We probably should have spent, I should have spent more time outside getting dust. And I can just maybe sieve what I've got so far. Uh, what else are we going to need besides mortar and pest? How you doing for water? Uh, I'm okay for now, because I kind of added the rewards we just got. And cutting board, we need an iron ingot. So we definitely need a furnace and some more cobblestone in order to complete this quest. Um, that one's grayed out. Uh, so basically, I have to figure out how to make a frying pan out of bone. You want to come back once we figure that out and uh, things aren't as crazy outside? I think that's probably a good idea, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. All right, Pahamar, I think I figured out how to get a frying pan real quick. You just need a tool station. Over the night, uh, we also made another chest, and we set up ourselves two barrels here, because we need more than three right. dirt. Yeah. So I wonder if bone meal... Do you have all the bone meal? I don't know if it's bone or bone meal that I need to use here, but I'm going to try and There's get a frying pan. Uh, I'm going to go inside if you want to close up the door behind me. No, Pahamar, don't do it. You're crazy. I'm gone. <laughs> what? Alright. Why'd you come out after Why'd you come me? Because I didn't want to see you die. Okay. Get some more, um, get some more bones if you can while you're out there. Meanwhile, I'll be hiding inside the house trying not to die. Oh my god, so, there's a gas. <laughs> so I think... Tinker's Construct, I'm going to want the Part Builder and the Stencil Table. This, this map is this crazy. Uh, yep. I have to set up all three of these tool station thingies. I'm going to have to put this somewhere else. I'm having a look in some of these cratery hills, and I'm actually finding a lot of stuff. Like items? Like I got six bones. Nice. You know what we could do? If there's so many mobs out there, we could dig some holes that they can't get out of, like, too deep. And then hopefully they'll just kind of accumulate in there, and then when they die, there'll be a bunch of resources. From, like, you know, dying from daylight type of deal. That sound cool? Perhaps. Alright, where's the frying pan? There it is. Pan pattern. And then we want apparently to make will bone meal work? No. Bone will. Alright, so I needed to use one of our 
bones in order to get a frying pan. But I think that means that we have a frying pan now. And if you want, we can use one of this. Do you have one silkworm? Oh, I'm sweating. I need more water. I do have one, but I need more saplings. Like, I need to get another tree going. Okay. Well, I have then the frying pan that we need to get the next part of our thing going. I guess I'll start hammering away at some dust. I'm going to make a stone shovel, and hopefully that's not a waste of stone. But I it's only it one is. stone. I think, I think I just realized we're probably past the wrapping up point, too. Oh, yeah? So does that mean we have to wrap up? Well, All right, so a stone uh... shovel is a waste of time. It broke after two uses. <laughs> what? Yeah. And, I, and in fact, not only did it break after two uses, I'm pretty sure that it was less useful than my fans. Like, it was actually slower than using my bare fist. So maybe some of those Tinker's tools will help us out, but I think we're going to have to check that out next episode, Bahamar. That sounds like that's a fair assessment. Yeah, so we're actually, like, doing okay, but I'm still a little bit nervous about this water situation. We have a little bit, but we don't have a lot. And we really are going through it rather quickly. Yeah, I think, I think we're being as we're gonna do two of us out here doing this sapling collection and everything. As hot as it is outside, I think you run through water faster when you're outside and it's hot. Yeah, I bet that we might be sweat crazy. less if we were to uh, be doing this during the evening, but then it's like crazy deadly. Yeah. Um, so let's wrap up the episode here. I'll handle out. I'll hammer out some more of this dust. Hopefully, manage to get some more stone. Then we can make a furnace, and hopefully, that'll allow us to kind of kick things in the gear from there. Sounds good. And hopefully, I can get some more dirt yeah, going so we can get some more trees here. All right, that sounds like a plan. All right, guys. So for now, Dial Twenty and Pahamar wrapping up episode one of the crash landing that Pahamar crash landed us on this planet for. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and. Take it easy. Bye, guys.